Hey everybody, Josh here with May Handmade. Today, I'm just going to do some maintenance to the X-Tool D1. Every few hours or so, I, I do this maintenance, um, just basic cleaning. I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol and paper towels and some Q-tips. And clean the laser module, clean the guides, re-oil them. If you don't maintain it, things tend to break and wear out, get rusty, that sort of thing. So every few hours of, of laser time, I like to go through and just clean everything. So let's jump right in. Okay, so first we're going to take our laser module and loosen the screw, take it out the top. Make sure that your laser is off when you're doing this, by the way. Make sure that the power's off. You don't have to disconnect it, but just make sure it's off. You can see that there's some soot inside of here. Um, I can see some soot on the lens. So we're going to get the supplied Allen wrench that was given from X-Tool. And we're going to take this shroud off so that we can access the lens a little better. Okay, shroud off. Now with the shroud, I just take it to the sink and I use Dawn dish soap and hot water. And I wash that. The lens here, um, I've had this for almost two years. And I use it all the time. You can see just a little bit of dust on the fan. Uh, I keep it in a pretty clean environment. And you see some dust on here. You can see that it's dirty. That's where the crosshairs come out. And here's where your laser shoots. I'm not going to disconnect the module. I'm just going to get a paper towel with some rubbing alcohol. It's wet with rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to rub all around. Clean the lens. And then with a dry spot on the towel. Okay, that looks nice and clean. So after doing that, I'm going to take a Q-tip and just kind of clean, make sure there's no lint in there. Both of them, the crosshairs and the lens. Now this lens, there's no cracks, no marks, no nothing inside there. Everything looks like it should. I keep this system very clean, so no reason why it should have any weird wear. And that's basically what I do to the module every couple of hours. You can see there wasn't too much, but it was enough for me to see it. Okay, I cleaned up, cleaned up the shroud. You see it's got a crack in there. I'm not sure if that's from weather change. Recently it just got cold outside. And could have been caused by that. Not sure. Because it didn't crack from where I mount it. It cracked up here. So, either way, it still works. It does its job. Just a shroud. I go ahead and reinstall that. Now, if you guys have any large buildup of anything here on the fan, if you cut a lot of wood, which I don't cut a lot of wood, I do a lot of tumblers and other projects. If you do a lot of wood, you may get some soot buildup on the fan. These screws here, you can take out, you can clean the fan with a paper towel and alcohol. Um, anything inside there, just be careful. Use Q-tips. Just be aware that there's a lot of sensitive components inside there. And you can clean all of that. Okay, next, I'm going to go ahead and push this module to the side. I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm just going to wipe this rail. And this rail, there's one on the bottom also. You can see the dirt that's on that. So there's, there's also one on the bottom. So these, it's got rollers top and bottom on this. So we're going to wipe all that. Nice and clean, push this to the other side, wipe this side. Okay, and a lot of people wonder, what is this grease that comes with it? That's what this grease is for. You take this grease, you can just put a little bit on your finger, 
and, and just wipe it on that rail real thin all the way across a little bit little dab goes a long way spread that along that rail both sides push this over we're going to get this end remember it does not take a lot here okay that's lubed up so these rollers here you're going to get just a little bit and put on there and just rub it on same on the bottom there's only one roller on the bottom so put a little bit on there If you grease the rails, it should be enough to pick it up on there. You shouldn't have to worry about that too much. So we're going to move on to these rails here. You see we've got them on the bottom and on the top. So you've got rollers here. There's two and one up top. So we're going to push this to the back. I'll take a paper towel. Go through here and wipe. Wipe it real good. You see how dirty that is. And the top. Gonna move this out of the corner so I can clean the back there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and the same lube, same stuff that came with the laser. Go ahead and apply that to the rail, the bottom, and then also on the top. Remember, it does not take a lot here. Just a little bit. You, can, you can't even tell that I've used this, and I've been using this machine for almost two years now, all the time as a hobby. I have not been, I have a full-time job. This is just a hobby for me. But this grease should last you a long, long time. So lubing this up. Now, now we're going to do this side, paper towel, move to a clean spot on the towel, clean all this rail off, see how dirty that is, a lot of dust, this is in my garage, so there's dust in here, there's, I do woodworking projects, I do all kinds of repair stuff, um, as a mechanic and other things, i I don't do lasering as a full time again. So we'll clean the top rail also. Okay, once that's clean, get some lube. Spread it on there. Spread it throughout the rail. You can feel it on your finger. If it feels dry, add a little more. Make sure you do not get this on the belts. This is a silicone based grease, so it shouldn't hurt the belts because the belts are likely made of rubber and they are petroleum based. If you use petroleum based grease on rubber, it will degrade, it will swell, it will really hurt the rubber and it will cause it to prematurely fail. So just avoid getting grease on your belts at all. Okay, anything else you notice on your laser that has dust on it, just go ahead and clean that off. I notice I've got some dust off in here. The cleaner it is, the better it's going to behave. You're not going to have any issues because of a dirty environment. So it's a good idea now to check, check things. Make sure you have no play in everything. There's no play. 
wiggle things that are not supposed to move and make sure that you don't feel anything moving. Um, up down on your gantry here. And then twist your module. Pull up down, make sure there's no movement. If there's movement, you could have a bad bearing or something in there. Check tension on these belts. Now, they don't have to be super, super tight on these. If you get it too tight, you're going to snap a belt. But these stepper motors, they have gears, little sprockets. There's teeth on these. It grabs. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, so that's just some quick maintenance, basic tips to clean your module routinely. Make sure it's clean. You, you're going to reduce your, your chance of having problems. So clean the lens, clean your, your everything inside. Clean your fan, lubricate all of your parts that are supposed to have lubrication, and just check things. Check your belts, check, check their play and any bearings. If you find a problem, it's easier to fix it before you ruin a project. So do these routine checks. It doesn't hurt to take five minutes and down your laser and just look it over. That way you know if something's going bad or is bad. So you can get it fixed. If you if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, give it a like, comment down below if you have anything, any suggestions. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed.